Take Pause has been made possible by support from the following Community Foundation of Broward funds. And by Broward County Animal Care and Adoption, where you can adopt a new best friend for life. When choosing a new pet, especially a dog, it's important to carefully consider whether or not you'll be able to provide your new pooch with everything it needs. Some dogs call for more activity than others. Some need more personal attention or grooming, and some are larger and require more living space. And you also have to figure out whether or not your own lifestyle can accommodate your new friend. There's going to be walks, daily feedings, and many other things that your dog needs. Thinking these things through before adopting will help both you and the pet you choose live a healthy and happy life together. Owning a dog or cat requires daily maintenance and in order for you to have a happy relationship with your new pet it's important that you're prepared to do all that. In the dog world training is obviously something that is going to be very helpful early and it's going to help you through the rest of your dog's life. But in addition to that there are other daily needs that they need. They need enrichment so they need to be able to be mentally stimulated, play games, go for walks, smell the roses, um, things like that are very important to dogs on a daily basis, especially if they're spending a lot of time indoors while you're at work. In addition, there's just basic grooming things, and that would depend on your breed on how much you're going to have to do. And exercise is important. If you have an active breed, you're going to want to make sure that you are giving that dog all the exercise that he or she needs. Socialization is important, having family and friends over, bringing your dog to different venues, um, bringing your dog to meet and greet all types of people uh, so that you can have a, a dog that is used to being around everybody that he's going to meet in life. Dogs may live for 10 to 15 years. It's important up front to get your dog to meet and be comfortable with everything he's going to see in life. As far as cats go, cats also need enrichment. They have grooming needs. Uh, but the enrichment, especially for an indoor cat, is really, really important. And then on top of that, for both dogs and cats, just the housebreaking and being able to walk your dog for bathroom breaks. And for cats, incredibly important to have litter box maintenance. And that's something that's not a favorite for kids and parents to do, but if it's not done, there may be problems later. Reputable breeders are breeders that have puppies or kittens available that are raised within the home. They're not raised in a kennel. They are very well cared for. They should have veterinary records, be up to date on their shots. They will do incredibly detailed background checks on possibly you and your entire family. So you shouldn't be put off by that. You should know that that's really a sign of a good breeder rather than they're just trying to give you a hard time. Um, reputable breeders will be aware of some of the genetic predispositions of the specific breed they are breeding and they will do genetic testing with veterinarians to make sure that they are not passing on any genetic disease to their litters. In addition, good breeders will not ever sell to a retail store. They'll never ship a puppy to you. They want you to be a part of that puppy or kitten's life and they'll want to get to know you and they'll want to keep in touch with you. They may co-own the dog or cat with you and in addition they will take back 
any incompatible matches at any time or if you have to give up a dog or cat for health reasons or any other change of life reasons, they will want that dog or cat back. When looking at shelters to adopt a dog or cat, the shelter should be clean and it should make sure that all of its pets that are up for adoption are fully vetted, up to date on all their vaccinations, and also spayed and neutered. They should not be letting the animal go without having it spayed and neutered. In addition, they, they should require an adoption application. They should review it, make sure that you are allowed to have pets if you have a rental, and um, they will make sure that uh, it, is, it is a good compatible match for you. If you're working with a reputable rescue group, it could be a specific breed or an all breed rescue group, but they may also want to do a home visit to make sure that it will be a compatible match. Many shelters will offer to take back the, the dog if it is an incompatible match at any time throughout the dog or cat's life. Maddie came to me through a rescue group and it was a very interesting match because I had a lot of skills to work with dogs and it was important that they place the dog in a safe home. Maddie had had some previous history with reactivity and aggression towards other dogs, um, some fearful behavior towards children, so the rescue group did a really responsible job in finding a great home in me. Um, it's been a long road. We've been together for six years and over those six years she's gotten better with other dogs. She's great with children, but we still have to manage the environment so she always feels safe. It's, it's really, really a great feeling to know that you saved a dog's life and you're providing a great home and a great environment for them to really, really succeed in. So this was a great match for me. It was a great match for the rescue group. But it's important to have the resources available for a special needs dog if that is your road that you want to go on. In conclusion, if you're thinking of adopting a new pet, this is a decision you're making for the pet's life. It should be a forever home for that pet. And do what you need to do if it's not perfect the first day to consult professionals to help you through the journey. But pet ownership should be a joyous event. It should be a joyous thing to do to either bring a new puppy or kitten into your home or to be that person that saves the life of a shelter animal. That brings joy to people's lives and the day-to-day -day management you can work with professionals to get through that. Your pet will appreciate you as the caregiver and you will feel good about what you've done. If you'd like to help support Take Paws through sponsorship or by making a donation, call 754-321-1000 or go to beacon.tv.